<laughs> What's up, y'all? Let me tell you something. I have got a feeling up in me. I really do. I really fucking do. Y'all, y'all are like awakening. Awakening. Yes. You are like, you're not just feeling your worth. You're demanding that others do as well. And I'm loving that. Yes. So today is Astara. Astara is a beautiful holiday. It is the spring equinox. We celebrate the green man. Um, at least in my household, we do. There are several ways of enjoying this holiday. You can decorate with uh, like your own fabricated eggs and decorated eggs. Um, obviously, pastel colors. We want to go for like for greens, pinks, yellows, um, purples for sure. Um, I, for example, I did not have a purple candle, so I have a white candle replacing that. White can always replace any candle you want, baby. Okay. But I, I'm feeling it today. And Asara, it, it ends or it goes on. Some say 19th through 23rd. I personally go 20th to 22nd. Um, and so I know I'm gonna get more candles. I got my, um, light blue candle here going for Pisces still because it is still Pisces season technically. Tomorrow is new moon in Aries as well as the beginning of Aries season. We have a brand new start coming. I know you keep hearing about that. And I'm when I tell you it feels so intense right now, I really encourage you to look into the astronomical effects in, correlating to what's going on right now with Pisces and Aquarius and how it correlates to your natal chart. I really, really, really suggest that. Oh my God. Your sun is obviously where you're born. So I was born in March. So I'm Pisces sun. My moon for me specifically is Aquarius. And then my rising is Capricorn. So you want to look into these signs, um, especially for tuning in for, for like, for emotional things like relationships and all of that. And you need to go to your moon sign. You need to check in in there, on there, in there too. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I'm so excited. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So I would like you to just send your energy to me. I'm going to cleanse a little bit. I'm telling you, I just feel like... Mm, amen. There is something coming. There is something beautiful coming. There's a change. There is a change, a much needed, long awaited change. I feel you've been struggling, not just emotionally or mentally, but financially. I don't think a lot of you feel aligned or centered. And like you, you felt that and immediately were like, I have to do something about this. I am not going to play this shit. I, I like feeling whole. Um, I love giving to others and making others feel whole too. And I can't pour from an empty cup. What's going on? How can I fill my cup? And which is, I think, a really uncomfortable place for us Pisces um, or just creative people in general, right? But Pisces in particular, because we are always, we're, we have this creative state of mind and soul and spirit that is constant. And so when we don't know what to do about something, that's rare. We usually have multiple plans. We're overthinkers and we sit comfortably in overthinking. It actually doesn't drive our anxiety. It helps us um, really weigh the pros and cons um, and risks and rewards. I don't know. Just tap. <laughs> please like, <laughs> please comment if you think what I'm saying is real. Because I, I feel, I mean, that's me as a Pisces. Um, I'm comfortable in what usually drives other people um, anxious. All right. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Cleanse the space. Protect my Pisces from any negative energy, any blockages, trying to interfere with their success, their success in all realms of their life and all dynamics, love, health, wealth. Okay. Everything, everything, home and hearth, everything, everything, everything. If you don't cleanse, I'm going to cleanse you right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right. Oh, I don't know what that symbolizes, but a piece of Palo Santo just fell off of that. 
please really think about what you want. I'm sorry, my nose is gross. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's my allergies, okay? It's spring. <laughs> it's spring. Oh, we got a message already. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. King of Pentacles. King of Cups. Got this already. I'm still on the ground. Oh. oh, we have temperance. Okay. Abundance. Abundance. Abundance is coming. Abundance is coming. Abundance is king. Oh my goodness. Listen, Pisces, you've got you've got your King of Pentacles. Okay. I'm not talking about love interest interest. This is this is something bigger than that. This is something bigger than that. I wouldn't be surprised if the star card comes out because this feels like wish fulfillment. You are looking for balance in finances and in longevity of finances because I think you experience really great spurts of large financial gain, like large lump sums. I don't know what it is that you do, but you, you get these large lump sums and it is not enough. It is not enough. It is not. No. Because, because you don't, not only, it's not that you don't make it last. It just doesn't last. How do I explain this? Um, you get $5,000, right? That's not going to sustain you the whole year. It's just $5,000. $5,000 feels $5,000. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. But the reality is, is that's not going to sustain you the entire year. So it's like you get these spurts. You do what you need to do. You do what you want to do too. Sometimes you do both. But it's just not enough. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. We've got the Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, talk to me about that. Oh, some of you are not standing in your truth and you are reminiscing on old times, on times where you should have pursued something that you did not. Come on now. Why are we Why are we do, being that regretful and stuff? <gasps> Stop. It can't have to do. Listen, it's either something you're really passionate about. Maybe you went to school for something and you realize, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have my, my graduate degree in this and now suddenly I'm not interested in this. Like I still feel pulled to art. I still feel pulled to writing. I still feel pulled to, to exploring the world. Um, even though I excelled in this and I mastered it, I'm, I'm still feeling pulled somewhere else. And that's okay. That's okay, Pisces. That's okay that you thought you were really going to be dedicated to this one path that really did bring you so much longevity, so much skill, so much experience, so much everything. But that's okay to move past that and to, to open yourself to new things and be like, oh, this isn't it. You're damn right this isn't it. You're damn right that degree wasn't it. That promotion wasn't it. That that relationship wasn't it. Buying that house wasn't it. No, you don't you don't just stop there. You get you deserve more. Did you forget that? Did you get that happy and comfortable in some of your smaller blessings that you forgot that you still have the right and entitlement to greater ones? That's okay. It doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop at the house. It doesn't stop at the marriage. It doesn't stop at the promotion. It doesn't stop at the degree. Okay? It doesn't stop at, at however many children you decided to have and you had beautiful, healthy ones. Okay, it doesn't stop there, baby. There is something big that you want and you know it's coming to you and you I, you seem ready for it. Okay. So we got the queen of swords and we've got the, um, six of swords. I mean, six of cups. I'm so sorry. Six of cups. And we've got, we've got the lovers. And so what this is telling me is that you, you are now realizing that there are things that you want more than, than what your original truth was. You lived by that truth and you lived it well, but now you're realizing there's more. And you're looking back, hindsight is 2020. And you're looking back and you're realizing, wow, I have more potential than I thought to do more than just this. You know, I'm not just a doctor or a nurse, you know, I'm actually really great at crafts and people buy my stuff around town. And maybe I should make a freaking Instagram page. Maybe I should do YouTube. Maybe I should put my stuff on Etsy and eBay. Something's happening. A shift is happening in you where you feel as though you, not as though, you feel that it's time for you to draw in another passion of yours and to, and to master that too. And oh my God, that is some king shit right there. I wouldn't be surprised if the emperor didn't come out. 
All right, yeah, so we have a we have the Ace of Swords. That's telling me that there is this new beginning that is going to be based on this truth that you are looking back on and realizing you have a passion for. You know, crossing just that is 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 the the um wheel of fortune, which lets me know that this is a new this you're desiring a new cycle and it's going to bring you money. Let's check this out. All right. This is beautiful. All right. It's going, oh, 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 oh. We've got the King of Swords upright. Remember how we got the Queen of Swords um, downright? Okay, all right. So let me tell you something about this Queen of Swords. And I'm not trying to genderize, it's just. So with this reverse Queen of Swords, it's telling me that the reason you weren't able to stand in your truth is because you were in a time of 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 heavy overthinking, heavy emotion overwhelming and it's not that you did this to yourself it's just there were things going on okay and now you're thinking a lot clearer and you feel like this masculine energy like you can take more charge you don't feel like you're in a position to be led and what led well and succeed in that way you you're in a position right now to lead yourself by yourself there's like a clarity about you oh my okay yes it's nine of wands this lets me know you're ready to work you're like, fuck it. You know what? Rescue didn't come. Help didn't come. It's time for me to, let's go. That's, you might be a little bit resentful. That's okay. You know what? This popped up in your hidden energy and that is your eight of cups. This lets me know that this, this is going to take for you to move. It might be you moving somewhere else, out of state, out of town, new job, new something. I don't know, but you're moving. You're going away from what was like this six of cups like you thinking this is i'm gonna i'm gonna go down the, the path of being an attorney and then you do that and you master it and then it's and you're excelling in it you even got jobs you got contracts but it's not fulfilling you and now you want to go for, for fulfillment you feel like there's something else lacking i don't i'm telling you i'm telling you some of you have a talent a craft something that that really that is a blessing that can bring you money and I think you're ready to, to invest in that. Let's see what else is here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hold on. Okay. All right. So let me tell you this. All right. So this is the Ten of Swords upside reversed. So this is, means you're not in a self-destructive zone. You are not feeling that way. You're feeling like you can do it. And you want this money. Look what came out after that. The Ten of Listen, it was the eight of cups that you're walking to, okay? Ten of swords reverse, that means you're feeling confident. You're not feeling like that. You're feeling the opposite of that, okay? I'm loving the, I'm loving the way the swords are coming out for you. It's not conflict, it's clarity, it's strength. And then right after that is the ten of pentacles. This is hearth and home. This is protection. This is a bounty. This is abundance. Just like the beginning of the reading said is what it's being prompt to. I got, I, man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, at the bottom of this cross and this energy is the Pisces card. Come on, now what's on the top of this? The death card. Transformation. And if you, Come on now, you know that's what the fuck this is. Did you not hear the whole reading? That's what this is. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I can't. Underneath the transformation is the sun card. Shut the fuck up, I can't make this up. And then the fool card, because you just gonna go for it, baby. What's underneath Aries? I mean, not Aries. So underneath the Pisces card, we have the night, the, the freaking, um, oh my gosh, I'm losing it. The page of swords. So that's more action. You're acting. You want to work with others. Let's come on now. Stop. I can't make this up. I can't make it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I think we're going to leave it here. Oh. I just finished on that when I, when I told myself I need to stop. I need to, this is it. This is a message for you. Pisces, rewind, listen to this again. You need to listen to this again. I know there's someone listening to this that is hearing this and is like, oh, this is mine. Pisces, it's time. It's time. Whatever that idea is, whatever that skill is, make the page, make the calls, tell your friends about it. Come on, it's time. Get an agent. Okay, go to that open casting call. Okay, write that book. 
Oh my God, whatever it is, please do it. Please do it. Oh my goodness. In the name of my, of, of your ancestors, your spirit guides, your, I hope that they speak to you. You need to go talk to them. Okay. I love you, Pisces. Happy birthday. It is the last day of Pisces season and I am bringing you spring equinox vibes, bitch. Okay. We is getting it. Okay. Light your candles. Fucking sage, cleanse, okay, with sound, with dancing, with fire, with smoke, whatever you need to do, baby. Water in a bath, okay? It's springtime. It's springtime. I love you. See you next time.